A first edition of Irwin Shaw's The Young Lions, annotated by Ernest Hemingway. I'm Adam Douglas of Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this remarkable copy that Ernest Hemingway has annotated throughout. He's presented the, the copy to his Italian friends. These were people he was staying with. Um, he went hunting on their estate and uh, he uh, stayed with them in, in two, two occasions when he was writing across the river and into the trees. And he's inscribed it uh, twice, actually. It starts, for Carlo, from Ernesto, marked from 527 on, annotated in brackets, E-H. And then he's, he's given two dates. He's, uh, the, and he writes his dates in the European uh, format. So it's the 2nd of March 1949 and also the 22nd of January 1950 and those are dates that he stayed on the Italian estate and uh, he gives the name of the estate and, and in, uh, gives his initials again, EH, and then at the bottom he's written museum piece, do not fold, meaning do not fold this very important leaf and he's initialed it again, EH. Now what was he doing inscribing this book? Well, Erwin Shaw and he were rivals, really. They were both uh, manly writers who uh, uh, were, wrote about such things as war and love. And Erwin Shaw had an enormous hit with this book. It was uh, a very successful book about the Second World War. And uh, it was made into a film, of course, with Marlon Brando, Montgomery Clift, and Dean Martin. And uh, the only trouble from Hemingway's point of view was that Erwin Shaw had based one of the characters in the book on Hemingway's brother, who'd served in the same film unit as him during the war. And so Hemingway has annotated the book at various places where he's recognized that his brother is being traduced. So we see here, um, Carlo, he says, this part from here on is where we shoot him sorry, is what we shoot him for. And there are further notes around the edges of the page there and elsewhere. Later on, he writes, this one reads, this is the part I will break his jaw for, E-H. And he's gone through the whole book wherever he felt that his brother was being traduced in the book. So at various stages. He also makes sarcastic remarks. So here, what a prince, he says sarcastically in the margin. And various changes. Now, a lot of this relates to Hemingway's service in the Second World War when he uh, fought in a sort of semi-regular uh, uh, sort of commando group and Erwin Shaw knew about these uh, engagements, and so Hemingway is very careful to correct all those and uh, correct how many people died at various stages, and he basically objects to the way that Erwin Shaw has uh, portrayed the war. The thing that is most interesting about it is that it's actually not his brother and the portrayal of his brother that has annoyed him, because actually, hidden within the book is a very rude portrait of Hemingway himself as a fat-faced alcoholic reporter for Colliers, which Hemingway was. And he is given as a character in the book. Also, his wife, Hemingway's third wife, he had stolen from Erwin Shaw. And so the wife is portrayed in the book as promiscuous. And so those two things, ironically, remain unremarked on in these notes. So in the guise of complaining about the treatment of his brother, Hemingway gets his real feelings out about the way that Shaw had treated him and his wife, his third wife, Mary. So this is a very interesting book. Of course, Hemingway was virtually written out by now. There was uh, Across the River and Into the Trees was his first failure. And then later, The Old Man and the Sea was he was given the Nobel for it, but a lot of people thought that was just a consolation prize. He never w wrote the great work about the Second World War that he wanted to. In instead, it was his rival in love, Owen Shaw, who got that commercial success and artistic success, and that's what annoyed Hemingway. So this is a fascinating association copy. It's not in great condition, 
as you'd expect, several people have poured over it. The dust jacket is long gone, the staining, some of the gilt is rubbed away. This is by no means a collectible copy of the book in terms of condition. It's all about the association, the inscriptions, and the passion and irritation of Hemingway. As he says, museum piece, do not fold. There are full details of this and all our other books on our website.